everybody, it's Christina. Today I am going to be making a little pedestal to display on crafts or whatever else you want on it. So I'm gonna use these two wood blanks, this um, candle holder that I got from Dollar Tree, um, some of this nautical rope that I got from Dollar Tree, and this is a shelf lining that I'm gonna be using. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this off of here first. And then I always kind of try to cut it towards the end because I like to save these little scraps because you never know what you're going to use them for. They come in handy sometimes. So I'm going to get that off of there. And then we are going to start assembling and putting together the, our project. I'm sorry, my project, unless you're doing it and watching it. Well, whatever. Okay, so I'm just going to be using a little bit of paint on this one. I have my white chalk paint and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint the edges of my sign. I'm going to paint the edges all the way around on both of these. Okay, now that I have those edges painted, which that is optional, you don't have to do that by the way, I'm going to figure out my um, shelf liner here. I barely have enough to cover these, just barely. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. I used this on a different project, so I didn't have a lot of it left. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some Mod Podge on here. So I'm gonna take my Mod Podge and I'm gonna put a nice coat on my wood piece here, making sure that I get all the way to the edges. Okay, I have my Mod Podge all on there and then I'm gonna take my shelf liner that I have here, just making sure that I cover up the sides, and I am going to press that down onto here. And I'm just going to keep rubbing it for a little bit and making sure that I get all the edges down. And then I'm going to let it sit and dry. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this one with the other piece. Okay, they're not quite dry yet, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a really sharp X-Acto knife that I have and I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to cut the excess off of here while it's still drying. I just got this knife off of Amazon. It is so sharp. So to be very careful, but I'll let you know how this, um, this knife, exacto knife works out for me. Because it seems like it's a pretty good knife. And what I really like about it is it goes in so you don't have the knife sticking out like you would a normal exacto knife so i'm just going all the way around it must have missed a spot here all right throw that aside okay that is all done and then i'm just gonna wait for this to um completely dry before I start putting this together because I don't want this to come off. Oh, and I'm gonna cut the excess off of this one also. Okay, I am ready to start putting this together now. So I'm gonna take the inside of my plaque here and I am going to hot glue my nautical rope onto here. Use quite a bit of hot glue. I'm gonna offset it just a little bit. I'm going to uh, make sure it hangs over the edge just a little bit so you don't see this underneath side here. So I'm gonna go all the way around here, gluing this on. I'm getting down to the end and I just cut my um, nautical roll very carefully to get to the end part right here. I'm just gonna stick that on. Now this is gonna go in the back of the shelf because I don't think there's any way to get this nautical roll looking nice on when you meet your corners here. So that's gonna go on the back part. So I'm not too worried about that. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I am going to hot glue this one on the bottom side. Now you're probably wondering why I put it on both sides and that's basically just in case. So you put it on here in case you would see the underneath of it. I probably could have done it just white, but I think it's gonna look way better like this. 
And I am sorry if you're hearing pounding and banging and sighing. My husband is literally right outside my window working on our gazebo. And this was the only night that I had to craft, so I guess it just is what it is. So I apologize. All right, got that on there, and then I'm going to try to get this on here centered. Push that down. So I cut out a little um, square of my shelf liner, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick this on the bottom here just so that my stand has a little bit of grip. So I'm just going to put that on there and a little hot glue. I use some E6000 because I don't know that the hot glue is going to hold to this. That way maybe when it's sitting on, an, on a shelf it doesn't slide around. I have a silicone mat here. Here. Hold. Well, it slides a little bit, but it's probably way better than what it would have been. So, the next thing I'm going to do is... I cut out a little strip of my shelf liner and I am going to put this on the front. Just trying to figure out which side I want to be the front here. And I cut it out pretty much to fit right on that little center piece right here. I'm just trying to center that little flower in the middle. And then I'm going to take my hot glue and I'm going to attach this onto here. And then it'll be just like a little decoration on the candlestick. I wasn't going to do this, but I don't know. I'm thinking this might look kind of cute if I put a little bit of the nautical rope on the bottom of my candlestick here. So, oh gosh, he's sawing again. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this piece out and then attach this in the back somehow. So I'm going to try something. I'm going to stick a little hot glue on this end here. And then I'm just going to take a little piece of this shelf liner. And I'm just going to wrap the end of this. Because I'm hoping that's going to keep it together. Because this stuff frays so easy. So. Let's see if I can do that without burning my fingers. Alright, let's try that and then I'm going to measure this out and then I'm going to cut it. I'm hoping I'll be able to stick that piece a little ways in there. I don't know how this is going to work here, but I'm just going to go ahead and cut some of this off. Okay, okay. I'm just going to take this end and I'm going to try to put a little piece of tape on here. Try to make it kind of smaller. And then I'm going to see if I can fit it into the end of that. And I probably put a little too much tape on there. My thing's not quite big enough. But I think it's just going to have to do. So I am going to, let's see how am I going to do this. I'm going to stick some hot glue in here. And then I'm going to wrap it around and push that end into there. Okay, there's just one last thing to do, and that is to glue this onto there. So, I know hot glue is not going to hold this. Like, there's no way the hot glue is going to hold onto there. So, I am going to stick some E6000 E on here. And then I'm going to use some hot glue also. All right, and then I'm going to try to center this. I'm not the best at centering, so I guess we'll see how it goes. Okay, well, it's stuck on there. As you can see, it is not centered. 
It's maybe kind of centered that way, but it's definitely over on this side a little bit farther. But I still think it's going to be pretty sturdy, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm not putting anything real huge or anything on there. So my stand is all finished. I don't know. I think it turned out cute. Um, you'll have to let me know. My husband is just pounding out there. Okay, so I just got this from Dollar Tree not that long ago, and I thought, how cute would that be just to put that even on my little stand that I made. So that's it. I am finished. I'm going to have to tell my husband it's time to pack it up because it's dark outside. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I um, hope you stuck around to the end. If you did, leave me a little message so I know you watched the whole thing. And I hope you subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified when I upload, and take care. Thank you. Bye.